Jai sir, from your point of view, how does industries, what, what's your take on how industries should look at the young students? Also, how do they have to manage the existing people on board who may lack some of the artificial intelligence competencies, but the young lads may be quicker enough to grab the opportunities and learn. And is there also need of an hour to unlearn some things which they are currently doing? I think uh, artificial intelligence is a tool, right? It's a technology enabling tool. Uh, we don't need to be subject matter expert unless you're a programmer or mm. look at uh, generally in corporate, you know, about, about if there are 100 people, 90 people, if they're not in this, uh, uh, what do you call, in the business of creating artificial intelligence solution, then it's a different game. Mm. But I'm saying generally like our company, right? 90% need to know how to use the tool. Okay. Right. So you don't have to be a subject matter expert in knowing the, how the tool was designed. It's about how do I use, like a phone. Mm. If I know new features are there, if I'm able to use the feature and take the best of the, each of the features, then I, I think I'm good. So everybody's learning at the same time. No one can say I know it because I've been doing this for years because this has just come in, right? Yeah. So probably the last 10 years, eight years. So everybody is learning at the same time. All generations are learning at the same time. I don't see a problem in adopting this for people who are already have adopted so many new things in, in, in life, uh, yeah. life, right? Mm -hmm. So we are all seeing a change. Nothing is uh, stagnant and permanent. We are all going through this change. So I don't think corporate will have a problem in adopting. Of course, individuals will have problem, but as of overall, it should not be a problem. Students have early advantage because they're uh, learning at the early stage. So I think it's not about uh, learning the tool. It's about uh, uh, understanding the generation is where the problem is. Because technology is creating uh, uh, difference in the way people think. So the leaders and managers who are sitting in corporate are still have different ways of leadership. So today's generation, you need to be really different, for which we need to undo and relearn. Re and uh, unlearn and relearn, otherwise it's going to be a problem in managing, because we can't go and tell this parent also. I think we need to do a lot of co coaching for parents on how do you parent uh, a Gen Z and Gen Alpha versus how do you how you were parenting in the past, because there is huge issues. Most of, the, I, I'm an anxiety coach. I, I've been counseling lots of students. My, if you see my LinkedIn, most of the time I'm with students. And biggest problem, if just now I was counseling somebody, she says, I want to commit suicide. You know how many, uh, I, was, I used to be an anti-suicide squad in Malaysia, certified by the government. In India, I've not taken it, but I do my bit to whatever extent I could do. Lot of these problems are coming from anxiety because they, the, the parents are not know, uh, uh, knowing how to deal with kids and kids don't know how to deal with parents. There's a huge generation gap. It's because of technology. So mental health is getting affected is what I see. So if you're looking at any emerging skills, or beyond degrees, I think from college days until home and then office, we should also look at, as the technology is going to do, come and do the magic, how are we going to cope up with the technology? Because this can do a magic. AI is going to do magic after magic after magic. But are we ready to adopt and adapt and abort? Thank you.